All right, so we're gonna do a little refresher off the single leg running the pipe. Okay, we'll work around with you guys. So you can hit it from the outside. You can hit it from collar tie, whatever you want to do. Pretty basic from collar tie, so you could do it this way here. Boom. Whichever way, uh, whichever leg I want to attack is the one that's in front of me. So say I want to reach this one, and he, he's like kicking back a little bit every time. He like kind of down blocks every time. You could just make him step. So you pull them to you a little bit. Okay, so from here, pull them to me, boom, and then from there, I run, and I get into my single leg position, okay? So if I don't push him back before I start to enter, and I just try to pick the leg up, the leg's heavy, okay? Because his weight's on it, okay? So I need to be able to penetrate a little bit to get him to move back a little bit. He takes a step, and now the leg becomes really light, and I can just pick it up. Okay, so put the collar tie, put the tie up. I just pull him to make him step, and I hit my single. Oh, I want to make sure that my head is on the inside of his hip, right here. Let's switch legs real quick. Inside of his hip, just like this. Okay, so if you start developing cauliflower, that's how you know you're doing it right. You want to put pressure with your head, your ear, and your temple on his hip. Okay, so when I get in that position, boom, here, now I can drive him down. Main thing you want to do is not have your head to the outside. As soon as my switch it, as soon as my head goes to the outside, he's gonna start wrapping up guillotines on this side. Yeah. From here. Go ahead and wrap it up. Boom. Yeah. Because my head's sticking out. But if my head's on the inside, it's gonna be harder for him to start digging for that. Okay? So that's number number one key to defending the guillotine. You see a lot of guys you know, lazy with it, they'll just pick it up, boom, he's gonna go for the, for the, even if I take him down with that, he's gonna go for the guillotine right away. Oh, wraps it up, okay? So when it comes to finishing it, I get into my penetration, boom, him back a little bit, and then I get into the single leg. What I wanna do is control this leg. I want his leg to kind of come up, and I want his hip to go down. That's gonna drive it down, okay? So as higher as this goes, I drive more pressure here. That's what gives me a takedown. So we're kind of doing a reverse kettlebell swing. Okay? So I'll do it one time. I get my single here. And when I run the pipe, I'm kind of using my head and drawing a circle. Okay, as I pull his heel in the middle. So I'm almost like hiking it that way as I'm coming down on the concentric, concentric, eccentric of the kettlebell swing. Okay, so I'm here, boom, as it comes back, my chest stays nice and tall, my head stays up, I'm hiking his leg down. And you're gonna get a little rotation in there, boom. Okay, so the same, same leg I'm attacking, I'm gonna use that outside leg to step out, boom. So I open up my ankle, the hips, here I'm closed, his legs locked down, I draw a circle here and I close it again. So as I come, my chest is gonna come down, down, out of arc. Okay, so again, same for my single, boom, boom. I'm staying real tight with my knee so he can't just pull his leg out. My arms are wrapping up his leg too. And the main thing is my head is on his hip line like this. Okay, so I'm too shallow and I'm on his knee. I won't be able to bring him down. Okay, it's not enough leverage. So I gotta be on his hip this way. Okay, I'm taking all the slack out of the leg. I take a big step with my rear leg, with my right leg here. Boom, so now I opened up a bunch of space, and I drag down, and I'm controlling, ready to pass. Let me hit it on this side one time. So again, I go for a single, go oh, this way. Okay, so I'm taking a big step out this way. Boom, I'm gonna shift my hips, boom, and switch my toes to finish the takedown. Okay, the whole time, I'm keeping his hips locked down with my head, my shoulders, Legs are nice and pinched. I draw a circle. I'm controlling. I'm ready to pass. Do what I gotta do. Basic single leg, run the pipe, cycle on the leg. Boom. <laughs> okay, cool. So some troubleshooting off the single leg, or whichever, however I get it, I get into this guy. I snatch it up. Okay, I wanna still, I don't wanna be hunched back like this. Okay, because I'm not really strong here. Still want to keep my back straight, just like I'm doing a kettlebell swing. Okay, boom, blocking everything out. Boom. So 
I do it like this way, kind of with like a bent back, you're gonna hurt yourself. Same thing, get into this thing, head is like tight on the hip, and then you don't wanna stop halfway. A lot of guys, they'll get to the single leg, and then there's, there's a battle here. It should be one fluid motion. Okay, so get to it, boom. Now when I'm ready to take that step, boom here, and now my hip, my ship, fuck. <laughs> my hip is gonna shift from this direction to this direction. I'll show it both ways. Okay, so I'm like this to start. Once I take that outside step, I'm shifting on to this direction with my toes. Okay, so this way, I get to my single. Boom. This is my sole, my, my sore either side, but it's okay. <laughs> Once I'm like this, I'm staying tight, okay? I wanna keep my, my ear close to that hip. So I take this step out. And I draw a circle with my head, shifting my hips down, boom, around, okay? So you're getting that big motion up here, boom, and then that's your drop. Okay, so when you do it fast, it should be pretty easy once you, once you get in there. Okay, another detail too, as you're hiking that heel to your butt, hiking that foot up, your head's driving down, Almost like a double on a single. Okay, so I get into this. I'm pulling that heel. I'm hiking it behind me and driving my head down. Okay. So depending on how I get into it, up here. Okay. Keeping that back nice and strong and straight. Cool. Make sense? Yes. Yeah, Go ahead and try it again.